people's worth and that's over. Well, hello, pray and share warriors. I am sorry that I'm late. I've been trying to get my music going, which I have not been successful, but I have my birthday cup here and I actually have coffee in it. Because it is chilly here because of all the rain that we've been getting. Um, so I like afternoon coffee when it's chilly and I may, I may pay for it later because, um, yeah, I really probably need to be drinking water instead. Okay, I'm just trying to get my cameras. So I have music flying over my head for the YouTube thing, but I have no music because I can't get. This is a live, but yet every all of my um, passwords have to be put in it, so I don't know. It updated itself, so while it was dead for a couple of days, it decided to update itself, so who knows. All right, this is not what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about being in the Lord's army. Mm, I don't remember what I titled this again. Um, but I'm fixing to tell you. March in Unity. Okay, so this morning before I woke up, I had this thought March in and I'm not real sure what the last three words were but I was as I was doing my quiet time unity came to mind and then formation March in formation and March in unison so I I believe what this is telling me is that God wants us as his Christian Lord's army to be unified, to be unified um, in our thoughts, to be unified in our actions, to follow Jesus, to share his gospel, to share God's truths. That's what he wants from us. That's what he wants from his Lord's army is to not break rank, to stay together, and to walk because you think about military military is all in a straight line they're moving the same way at the same time like in unison in unity is how they're moving so that's what the message is for tonight I have some Bible verses some stories some stories about armies and so come and learn with me but right now let's jump into some prayer my name is charm um for anybody that does not know who i am all right well, let's pray god we just praise you and thank you for all that you are and for all that you do god you are the only commander in chief that we need we do not need all these people that are outside of your army telling us what to do god we need to listen to you we need to pay attention to what you're saying. And we need to hearken to your commands. God, we just praise you because you are our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. God, you are our shelter in the storm. God, you are the great I am. You are the great Jehovah. You are from everlasting to everlasting and you are our everlasting father. But God, you are the righteous judge that will come, that will, well, you don't even have to come, that from heaven will judge all the unrighteous. And God, we, we, um, we know that you are magnificent and powerful and mighty and you are miraculous, God. But we know too that you are loving and kind and compassionate and patient. You are forgiving you are uh, faithful you are all of your promises will be kept 
all of your prophecies will be fulfilled in your word, God. We just thank you. Thank you for calling us as your children, for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength, God. And we just pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home, God. We pray for them to repent and to return. We pray for all the disasters that are going on, all the shootings, all the everything, God, that is going on. We just pray, God, that you would be with these families. And that, God, if this is not total truth, that only truth would rise out of these events. God, we pray for people that have lost loved ones. We just pray that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength. That they would feel your presence in their, in their time of loss. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so what does it mean to be in the Lord's army? Okay, well I shared a song this afternoon. This little girl, she's so cute. She's so determined. She is a determined little warrior. I love this video that um, I found today of these kids. Because I, lo I love VBS and I love VBS music. And sometimes I share kids' songs because I listen to a lot of them with my son. So first thoughts this morning, march in unity, march in unison, and maybe march in formation. Um, maybe meaning don't break rank. Stay. Stay in the army. Stay in this Lord's army. Not I'm not talking about the physical military army that we have. I'm talking about the Lord's army. The the army that God has called you to be in. Stay in it. Don't break ranks. Um, we are in the Lord's army. He recruited us through Jesus. He has a position for us and he has a plan for us to execute. He is the commander in chief. Not any man here is the commander in chief. God is the commander in chief. Just him. We must stay close so we can clearly hear the commands that he gives. War has always been a part of God's word. We are the new infantry for this intense spiritual warfare. I believe that many of us that feel this intense spiritual warfare, we were created for this, this time in this season to be the spiritual warriors that God has called us to be. We must fight through reading God's word, through prayer and through praise. These are the keys to victory. We must share what we learn from God's word with others. That's what I try to do every night is to I actually learn with you because I don't know all about these subjects when I sit down to talk about them and the Holy Spirit kind of leads me through where he wants me to take the lesson. So uh, we must share what we learn from God's word with others and share the good news about Jesus, his offer of salvation and eternal life through his sacrifice for all. So are you saved today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3:16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Okay, so that's what I shared earlier. So if you get a chance, go and listen to this song. It is precious. These kids singing this song. It is so good. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I would sing it to you, but I'm just not feeling it. Um, okay. So let's move on to scripture. Got a little aggravated while going through my little book that has most of my passwords in it. I have to put passwords in that phone before I can listen to it. So this is a story that came to mind today. Second Kings six. 
Now, I'm not going to read all of it because some of it does not even pertain to what I was thinking. But you know, many times there is a spiritual warfare going on around us, and I've talked about this before, that I can't see the spiritual warfare in this room, and I'm, I'm very thankful. But anytime you get God's Word out, the enemy is going to come alongside and try to distract you, try to make you forget what you were trying to find, you know, because he doesn't want us to read this word. He doesn't want us to have this knowledge. So the spiritual warfare here in my office that we can't see, praise Jesus, I don't want to have those spiritual eyes to see that, um, is intense right now because I pulled out God's word. And I'm fixing to share with God's word a story about an invisible army because just like the spiritual warfare we can't see it that's going on there's an invisible army that is fighting for us all the time okay I think I'm going to read down to Okay. It's actually just a short part of this. So I'm going to start with 10. And the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of and saved himself there not once or twice. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing, and he called his servants and said unto them, Will ye not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, of, o king but Elisha the prophet, the prophet that is in Israel telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host compassed the city both with horses and chariots and his servants said unto him alas my master how shall we do and he answered this is Elisha Elisha answered saying fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them so Elisha had God on his side Elisha had God's army on his side because Elisha was a prophet from God. Um, and Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite these people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness, according to the word of Elisha. Then Elisha said unto them, This is not the way, neither is this the city. Follow me, and I will bring you to the man whom ye seek. But he led them to Samaria. And it came to pass, when they were come into Samaria, that Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of these men, that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes, and they saw, and behold, they were in the midst of Samaria. And the king of Israel said unto Elisha, When he saw them, My father, shall I smite them, shall I smite them? And he answered, Thou shalt not smite them. Wouldest thou smite those whom thou hast taken captive with thy sword and with thy bow? 
set bread and water before them that they may eat and drink and go to their master. And he prepared great provision for them. And when they had eaten and drunk, he sent them away and they went to their master. So the bands of Syria came no more into the land of Israel. So God opened the eyes of the, ser the servant so that he could see. And God also shut the eyes of the people that were coming against Elisha. And even though Even though the king of Israel wanted to smite them, he did not. He gave them water and something to eat because that's what God said to do. So we can't see. We can't see who's fighting for us. A lot of times we don't even know who's really on our side because God is the only one that knows hearts and minds. So I thought that was a really, really good story. And uh, I wanted to read 2 Timothy 2, 1 through 26 also. So I may not be on here for very long today. I went and got groceries. I went and ran errands today. Which used to not be a big deal to me, but these days it just kind of wears me out. I'm thinking I need to be taking the multivitamin that's in there that I can't remember to take. I think it might be helpful. I'm thinking I might start taking it at lunch. Okay, 2 Timothy 2. No, I have my other Bible in here. But I forgot to bring it in here. I'll bring it in here for tomorrow night. All right, coffee. Cheers of coffee. Because coffee and water is pretty much all I drink these days. Okay. So 2 Timothy 2, 1 through 26. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. So we are to be good soldiers of Jesus Christ. So what we do is we read God's word because we want to learn God's word. And we pray every day to God and we also praise when we have praise music that we can put in our ears and we share what we learn we share what we learn with others and we share the gospel of Jesus because we want God to use us we want one of God's commands to us well one of Jesus's commands was go and make disciples so we want to be trying to do that. We want to be sharing what we've learned. Um, I lost my spot. I'm sorry. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of his life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer even unto bonds, but the word of God is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, 
he cannot deny himself. One of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved. In order to study, or to study, <laughs> to show ourselves approved. I need to make sure that's not on that and turns off the camera. Okay. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness, and their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenius and Philetus who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrown the faith of some. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, saying this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart, depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth and some to honor, in some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strifes, the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves, if God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Alright, that even is a little throw out to people that are um, in the snare of the devil you know God can they can be recovered through Jesus through repentance and acknowledging the truth they can be recovered but more than that we are in God's army and these are the things that we are to do we are to um, learn we are to learn from God's Word and then we're to share it with others you know when I was writing that while ago when I was writing that while ago earlier today I didn't know I was gonna be I mean I knew I was gonna be reading this but I really didn't know exactly what all was in this I read a scripture or two today that pertained to my daily devotional but I didn't know that God's words were going to mirror what the Holy Spirit already had me write. That's always good. Confirmation is always good. Okay, so let's read Ephesians 6. Because we do not wrestle with flesh and blood. We are wrestling with spiritual entities. Uh, spirits things that we can't see. Again, this Bible, it's hard to find things in. It doesn't flip like my other one does. My other one just flips open to things. Okay. Ephesians 6. So let's start... Okay, well, let's just read. Let's just read all the way through, or at least through the full armor of God. Okay. I don't have anything else to do tonight. It is Friday. Tomorrow's Saturday. I have something to do most of the day tomorrow.
It's a big old cup, but I sure do like my big cup that I bought me. Okay. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. This is one of the commandments. You know what? This is a repeating of the commandments in Ephesians. So this is the New Testament. A lot of people say, oh, that's the Old Testament. Those commandments were from the, for the Old Testament people. They still apply to us today. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. It is. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So we're not supposed to make our children mad. It says fathers, but I believe mothers too. We're not supposed to make our children mad. Do our children make us mad sometimes? Yes, very much so. Sometimes I just have to take a deep breath. And it's okay. There's, there's no rule that says that you can't take a deep breath. Okay, servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling in singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. So we're supposed to, like I guess you say your bosses would be your masters. We're supposed to do what they tell us to do. Not, not with eye service, but you know, from the heart. With good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. And ye masters, do the same things unto them, forbearing, threatening, and knowing that your master also is in heaven, because our masters or our bosses are under God too. We're all under God. Neither is there respect of persons with him. So God is no respecter of persons. God doesn't love the rich man more than he loves the poor man. He loves everyone the same. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil because that is who we battle against all day long, all day long. For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. So we have truth, and we have righteousness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So we need to be ready to go and share the gospel of peace. And then we take the shield of faith. This is a shield of faith. Wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. The sword of the Spirit. Which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. So we need to be sharing the gospel too. For which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak but that ye also may know my affairs and how I do. Tychius, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, 
that ye might know our affairs, that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Written from Rome unto the Ephesians by Tychius. I guess Tychius wrote this for Paul. I didn't know that. I have read this, I don't know, a hundred times. I didn't realize that um, Tychius wrote that. Uh, I learn something new every time I open the Bible. There is, there is lots to learn in here every time we open the Bible. Okay, so again, we are in the Lord's army. We do need to arm ourselves every day with the armor of God. And I don't mean we pick up guns and we go into the streets. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about we arm ourselves on our knees. We pray. We read. We learn. We share. We sing. We praise. That is how we get our victory is through the things that God has given us that we can that we can stand against this evil army that cannot have our soul but can steal our joy if we let him can steal our peace can steal our patience can just steal whatever can steal our love can steal whatever if we let him we have to stand on this we have to stand on God's Word we have to walk in God's ways a lot of times walking in God's ways is really not what we want to do but when we do we are blessed and when we're obedient make God happy does he need us to be obedient to be happy no because he's God but when his children do what he has called them to do that does please him it does please him okay let me see if there's anything else here we've read quite a bit tonight so let me know if you can think of anything in the Bible about being in the Lord's army that I did not touch on. And put it in the comments. And I will look for it tomorrow. Okay. Well, this is... Uh, these are my notes from this morning. So I was looking at my notes. March in unity, March in blank. I couldn't remember what it was this morning that I could remember the March, but I couldn't remember the rest. But I, I think I finally got it. So good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new day of rain to water my creation, child. Rain is my blessing of sustaining what I created. So that is one of the ways that God sustains what he creates, is to send the rain and then to send the sunshine and then the grass and the flowers and the trees start growing. You know, this is a wonderful time of the year where everything is budding and it's looking so good except it's allergy season and that is not the good time of the year but it looks beautiful we might be sneezing but it's beautiful so I said thank you God for a new day of mercies and blessings God new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus a new day of blessings of rain for your creation thank you God for all of my blessings 
please let truth reign in this meeting today. Let the people running the meeting see clearly the truth. Um, and he said, Child, my truth reigns above all things, but it takes time to surface too. The timing has to be perfect in your government and in all situations. Eyes and ears have to be open and hearts too. So much of what is portrayed is false and for show to keep the people in the dark. My children are the children of light and have the Holy Spirit to help discern truth from lies, but many do not because Jesus is not their Savior. It is a heart thing. That's what he told me yesterday. It's a heart thing. Well, actually the day before. It's a heart thing. It is a heart choice and a heart lacking also. March in formation. Um, stay unified with the right side. Do not go across lines and dabble with the other side. The lines have been drawn clearly. Stay with the message of being an army of God. Know always that I am the chief commander in my army. I am the one that gives the strength to continue in this battle, and it is a battle, child. Much of the battle is not seen. Many armies from both sides. Physically, you see the countries ready to go to battle. We do. I do. I see many countries. I see Russia, Ukraine, Iran, Israel, China, Taiwan. That's six right there that are ready to go. They're ready to go. And I don't know where, I have no idea where our leader falls in any six. I don't know who will be backing. I don't know. But your military is on a 60-day stand down. Our military is on a 60-day stand down. Which maybe it's over by now. I'm not sure. I think that hit about February sometime. March, April, May. No, we're still... No, wait. April. Maybe it's up this month. March, April. About 60 days. Maybe it's up. I hope so. Because we might have to use our military. Just saying. Um, is that up yet? All that you see is a clear plan to take down your country and other weaker countries. Two. Be aware of the wars ramping up, knowing that maybe the blackout in the winter was a test for what is to come. So be prepared. If you were without electricity, be prepared. Have food on hand. Have batteries. Have flashlights. Have backup generators. Have That's how you are prepared. Even having water stored to flush your toilets. <laughs> That's being prepared. Okay. He said, are you ready? He's asking me if I'm ready. He said, get ready, child. Get ready, and you know what that means. Be ready for the end is soon, child. Most of the inhabitants of the world do not follow me. I believe that. I really believe that most of the inhabitants of this world do not follow God um, and my ways. I believe that. Keep walking with Jesus, but be ready for harder times too, child. The worst is yet to come, not the best on earth. So you hear a lot of times the best is yet to come. I don't believe it. I want to believe it, but I don't believe it. Because I've read 
I've read this and I see where we're going and I've read the end which the end is great it's a great ending but getting there is not great okay uh, keep walking with Jesus but be ready for harder times to child I already read that. The sand is filtering faster every day. Soon time will be up according to my perfect timing child. I will send the deliverer of my people, my children. Thank, and I said, okay, so who do you think the deliverer is? The deliverer is Jesus. Our deliverer is Jesus. And I said, thank you, God, for meeting me this morning. <clears throat> I'll see all that you were saying in your word, God, and unfolding to you every day. I love you with my whole heart. I have a fuzzy on my arm. With my whole heart, my soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Be ready for all that is coming, child. Stay close to Jesus, child. Do not stray away. Keep walking in the light, child. The end is so so soon. At your <clears throat> at your very door. So finish strong, child. It will be so awesome to have you all home again with all of us safe. And I said, Maranatha, God. I'm ready. Ready. You know what my other thing is? I'm sorry, I'm looking under my desk. Maybe I can do that tomorrow. I don't know where my other track is, like this one. I guess we'll use the bracelet. Unless it's ran away like my other track did all right so it's time for salvation offer so the scripture is for i am not ashamed of the gospel because it is god's power for salvation to everyone who believes so i am not ashamed of the gospel i actually have a t-shirt that says that and this is um eban.com and also it is called e3 resources evangelcube.org okay all right i don't want to be i don't want people to say that i'm stealing their thing okay so the gold color represents god the creator of all who lives in heaven the bible says that god is light and in him there is no darkness god is perfect god loves you and he wants you to have a personal relationship with you um he wants to have a personal relationship with you god is jesus is god's son the bible says that jesus and god are one so the gold color is for god the dark color with a question mark the dark color represents sin which is doing wrong things god says that all have sinned and fall short of god's standard of perfection sin separates us from god the bible says that the penalty for our sin is death or separation from God forever okay so that is that the first question mark is asking uh oh is asking how can your sins be removed so that you can know God so how can our sins be removed so that we can know God oh, I have music on my vest <clears throat> excuse me okay red is the next color the red color represents jesus's blood jesus lived a perfect and sinless life 
but he died on a cross to pay the penalty for all of our sin. Again, the payment for sin is death. So Jesus paid the penalty for each of us. Why? The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life with God. The good news is that you don't have to be separated from God forever by sin. Because Jesus died for us. So the white with the red, the white color represents each of us after our sins are washed away by Jesus. How can Jesus wash away our, wash our sins away? When we believe in Jesus by following him, our sins are forgiven. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. So, the question Mark is asking, have you accepted Jesus' gift of forgiveness by believing in him? Now I've got music on my bracelet. So, if you would like to accept Jesus as your Savior, then repeat this prayer after me. God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sins and that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now put my faith only in Jesus to forgive me and to save me from my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so the next color is green. The green color represents growth in your relationship with God. These symbols show the areas of growth. And we've been talking about that growth tonight. We've been talking about reading God's Word. We've been talking about praying. We've been talking about praising. So the first, the greatest commandment, so here's the heart symbol. The greatest commandment is that we love the Lord our God with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, and that we love our neighbor as ourselves. Love God, love people. So the next emblem is the Bible. Read the Bible each day to learn more about God and His love. The next one is the little praying man. Pray to God constantly and share your thoughts, needs, and desires with Him. Prayer is merely communication with God. In the little water symbol, when we are baptized, we are telling the world that we have committed our lives to Jesus and that we are a new person, like being born all over again. So here's the little fellowship sign. Hang out with other Christians and encourage each other. Church is a good place to start. And so here is the earth with a cross. Share the good news that Jesus can forgive sins when you trust in Him. Tell as many people as you can. Alright, so tonight, if you said that prayer and you meant it, 
And guess what? You join the Lord's army. You have been recruited into God's army of many, of many, many people. The angels are rejoicing and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, His Son. And today is day one of your Christianity journey. So, to help you grow, just like we just did all those emblems, start reading the Bible. Start in Matthew. Start praying. Pray to God. It's just communication to God. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just communicate with him. Find some music that up this uplifting and praise God, praise Jesus, praise the Holy Spirit. I'll tell you what, you can't be mad, you can't be angry, you can't be hurt, you can't be anxious if you have praise and worship on and your mind is on who you need to be praising and worshiping. All those other things just melt away. They just don't really seem that important. All right. Well, I think I did everything that I came to do today. I am going to do some research on the army story that I was thinking about, and I may share it tomorrow. Um, I don't think I read the one that I meant to read. There are a lot of army stories in the Bible. It is full of army stories. And uh, David, King David, he was a warrior that would not stop. He conquered many countries. By God, by, you know, praying to God, God, can we, can we um, take this country? There are a lot of stories in here like that. But I am going to number six. Because I'm going to get off of here. A little bit tired after, like I said, my errands today. I thought this coffee would perk me right up, but it's getting cold instead. Okay, so chapter six The Lord bless thee and keep thee, the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee, the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Wow, we need peace in this country. We need to pray for peace. Like I said, war is ramping up and you may not see it in the mainstream news, but it's happening. Sometimes you have to go to other countries' news to get what's really going on in other countries. And sometimes I do that. Sometimes I go and listen to Israel news, which kind of gives me an overall of what's happening in all the countries and what our leaders are saying in response. So, anyway, just if you're not saved, please get saved because time is running out. I have no dates because God is in control of that. And at His perfect timing, just like He said in quiet time, in His perfect timing, He will send our Deliverer. Our job is to be ready for our Deliverer. Our job is to be sharing with others that the Deliverer, that Jesus Christ is coming to get His church, that He's coming to get His bride. And that is our job. Our job is to share. God's job is to change hearts. We share. God changes because we have no power to change people's hearts. And we don't know people's hearts anyway. God does. He knows all hearts and minds. I don't know how he keeps up with it. I try not to think about it too much because it's a bit overwhelming. All right, well, let's pray. God, we just thank you for this time and for the reminder that we are in your army, that you did enlist us through Jesus. So once we were enlisted through Jesus, that we became warriors for your side and that we became uh, people that would read your word and learn from your word and to share your word with others that share the gospel of Jesus with others that would share our testimony with others 
that we could use to encourage people. And God, we just pray. We praise you for all the many things that you do for us, God. And we just pray, God, that you would help us to walk boldly against the other army, but to do it instead of with weapons, God, that we would do it with your weapon, with the Word of God, that we would do it with prayer, that we would be on our knees, that we would be crying out to you, that God, you would rise up this army that will not, will not stand down, that will only stand for truth, God, that will not stand for the lies and the deception, that will only stand for truth, that will stand firm on the foundation that we have built our lives on, with it, which is Jesus. We have not built our lives on um, sinking sand. We have built our lives on the rock. God, help us to cling to that rock. Help us to stay close to Jesus so we can hear so we can hear what he is telling us, God. Just help us order our steps, God, going forward so that we can further your kingdom because it's about your kingdom and not ours and about nothing on this earth which is temporary and fleeting and will not last. God, just help us to put our treasures in heaven where nothing disrupts and nothing Nothing can destroy. Help our hearts to be there too, God. As our hearts have to be here on this earth, God. But help us to remember that there is a day coming when all the things of this earth will not matter because they will be so much in our past. God, we just praise you and thank you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, all right, my friends. You've been enlisted. So remember that you're part of God's army. Go listen to the little kids video. It's so cute. It's so cute. It made me wish for a VBS. I don't know if we're doing, I don't know what we're doing this year for VBS. We didn't have it last year. They kind of took it to the kids, which I thought was kind of neat. But this year I'd love to do in-person VBS. I would. Okay. Well, have an awesome rest of your evening. And an awesome tomorrow, which is Saturday. And much love. And cyber hugs. Till I see you again. Good night.